So this base is maybe up to three people, maybe four if you're pushing it. But I wouldn't really build it for four, but it is designed for maximum four people. I wouldn't build it for any any higher. So I'm just gonna show it real quick. Obviously, I'm gonna it's gonna be stone, but it's gonna be twig when you build it in vanilla. So I just start out with a quick two by one. Obviously, speed is key when you're building in a vanilla because you're going to get killed. You need to ba make a base quick if you're gonna get shot. So here is my way of making a two by one really fast. So I put two squares right here, and then I immediately switch to triangle foundation. And from here, I switch to doorway. So I put two doorways here like this, and then one wall from the same position. And then once I place this, I go to the middle of the two uh, two squares. And then from here, I just do a full 360 without moving. And then now all the walls are placed. And then I move to floor immediately. Place the floor. And from here, you don't even have to go towards the door. You just do this. And then everything's good. So when you do it from twig, you just build this quick like that. And then from here, I just build up the 2 by one first. Uh, and ideally, I would have a door. So I would have the building plan and hammer right here. And then I would have a key lock if I play solo. So as soon as I upgrade this, I put the door down so that I'm safe. And then from here, that's when I finish the two by one. Obviously, you want to do the walls first because someone can shoot you. And the floors you can you can destroy later uh, if someone does try to get in. And then you upgrade this and then immediately put down the TC, which is right here. I will show how to make it so that you fit the most amount of space in the two by one. What I like to do is I, I have two uh, boxes here like that. Boom. And then like this. So three is enough uh, for early game until you need to make more. And I just put three furnaces down like this. Uh, when I place when I place the bags, I make sure that I leave space in this line here. A little bit past that to fit the tier two. That way I can fit uh, all three bags in a very tight fit and then once I make the tier 2 or tier 1 then I just place it in the little cubby here and obviously I put another door and then once you're once you need more space you go out here at this you this doesn't need to be stone it can just be wood because you're gonna have wood in here anyways and it's good to have uh, stuff made out of wood just to save on a little bit of upkeep it's not a big deal but you can either do it this way and then like here, but I think uh, I think I prefer this one. Put it in the back here. This is a lot easier to do and it's a lot easier uh, to fit a campfire and there's a lot more space on the right side so that like even like two people can fit and go to the, the back boxes. And then you can either put a box or I like to put a campfire right here. And yeah, that's it. That's the two by one. So once you have this, you're pretty much set to play the wipe. But if you want to expand, this is where you do the offset bunker. And I got this idea from Game Lights with a Z on YouTube. He's actually, I think, I think the perfect YouTuber for base builds because he just knows all the tricks and he explains them much better than I would. Uh, so I would watch his video on how to do this, but I'll show it as well. Okay, so you put one triangle and then one square. So now you're expanding the two by one. So from here, you put six triangles. Actually, 11 if you count the ones that are placeholders. But this is two triangles because this is the one like if basically you make uh, six squares. But it's in triangles like this. So if you look here, it's technically six triangles. That's how I like to visualize it. And obviously you don't need any of this. And then from here, you place a square and then you destroy everything else. So boom, come back all the way here. You put this thing here. Make sure the right pillar is not out. Bang, upgrade that. Break this, another foundation. Boom, six triangles out. Is that six triangles? Yes, I can count. My brain hasn't fried yet from playing Rust. Let's go. Anyways, without further ado, boom, and then bang. And from here, you just add this, 
and then go up here you can add the triangle floor here and then go to this corner look on the top come down and then boom now you can add two things in one place what what is going on and then the guy said now you can destroy this foundation and you need to destroy it so i'm gonna do that and then replace it and then now it works like this you can open it boom you're good so how i like to do this now now the offset bunker is good so i'd like to put uh one more furnace here and maybe even do like three because uh metal is scarce when you're playing uh rust without a large furnace so i just like to add this part asap but from here you're gonna add a raised foundation triangle like this like that if you have enough stone i'll cover this up so people can't soft side and be cringe and then just make this part immediately like that and then from here you add this triangle and usually uh, i like to put a loot room up here but it is it is kind of weak because this could be a wall right but if you put a wall frame and you put a garage store it's only three rockets so what i like to do now Oh, by the way, you open it like this. So now you can place the thing here. If you destroy it, upgrade this. It's now open. This is really good for streamers, I think, because uh, people get roam raided a lot. Right? So as soon as you're about to go roam, you just uh, put one... Even like even like stone is pretty good because uh, doors are very weak early on. And you just metal this and then honeycomb the outside. So you do that and then you go out and then once you come back granted that you don't die you can um put this and open it up and you can put a, a sleeping bag here with like wood or something so if you do die and you need to spawn inside base but not in the core uh you can you can spawn in the sleeping bag here but uh you can also have a sleeping bag inside as well so what i like to do here is, is uh hopefully you have enough for a vending machine if not you can just leave it uh until you have it so from here, you put a vending machine at the very edge of the triangle. Like that. And then uh, you should be able to fit two boxes on the back of this. And then you just put a doorway. So this way, people can't go from uh, out here if they break it. This is like, if you metal this and you have this thing, it's a lot more rockets. So you do it like here boom and then you can add the <laughs> boom okay that was a lot harder than usual but you get the point and then you can also destroy it as well and you have uh three storage boxes boom and you rotate that and then you can use this as storage as well so from here, my natural progression is like, okay, people are going to want to raid me. I have like a few guns. So I just upgrade the outside and put honeycombing. So now, no matter what, if my bunker is closed, people have to use eight rockets. And that's kind of a lot when you first start out. And this is only with like two doors. Even if you have like two doors, it would be eight rockets. So if you don't have a lot of metal and you only have stone, this is already eight rockets. You're good. And you can make this like probably in like the first five minutes of building. So from here, what are we doing to expand? You can put another door here that you can only place from this side. You can put an airlock on this side so that you have two doors leading out. So if you uh, if you want to peek this, you can actually peek from here. People are going to start uh, door camping you if they hate you. Now from here, what are we going to do? We can either put the doorway here like this or we can put another uh honeycomb in here and then put the doorway on the top putting the doorway on the top is not bad uh when we add the oil refinery here i'll show you how i do that there's a lot of different ways you can build to the top you can either put it right here this is where i like to put it going going up here like that and then have a loot room here for uh depot boxes 
what I like to do is progressively move my depot boxes more to the front as I build a base. So my natural progression would be I need, let's say someone's camping outside my base. I need a roof access that's at least three floors high. So I build this next. So I just add one wooden door here, one wooden door here. Now I have the third floor access and I'm able to shoot people from my roof. So that's really easy roof access. So I do that first. And then you put the depot boxes here. So if I go out here, then I kill someone, I come back, I can depot right away, go out super fast. And then you just put like four boxes here or like seven boxes. Um, and then once I have more stone, instead of doing more honeycombing, I come here, I used to put this like that and then put oil refinery here. But I think I'm going to start doing this instead. I'm going to put the oil refinery at the front. The reason being, I can put, uh, I can rotate it this way so that the, the sticky part, the one that sticks out, I can put it on the left. So if I put a doorway here, I can quickly go up to the top like here. Boom. And then you can either honeycomb that or leave it open or like put like more furnaces here. It's up to you. We can put a furnace there. Like that. And then here, I think if I do play duo, I'm going to start putting uh, doorways here. Uh, you could put a garage door here and then a door here. I think that's really good because a uh, garage door plus one door is uh, four rockets. And you can put bedrooms here or depot boxes. Uh, if you care about uh, moving around a lot, you can put two doorways or two wall frames. So let's do two uh, wall frames here. This is really good because if they, if they top down you, you need to have uh, bedrooms near your near your doorway so that you can spawn here, go out right away and shoot at people or like you can have uh, bedrooms here with lockers and if you die, you can immediately go out and help your teammate, right? Or if you want depot boxes here, you can put depot boxes uh, instead. But what you can do for a quick depot box is you can do something like this. Um, put like two boxes here so that if you need to depot something quick, let's say you killed an AK guy. Oh my God. I need to go depot right now. Boom. You go up depot, you get out like that. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. So from here, a lot of people, you might stop right here. This is completely okay. You can literally stop here and then you'll be fine. But if you feel like, damn, I have a lot of AKs. I want to make this a base that I can defend online. That's very easy. Right now, the resources for this is 22K stone, 340 metal, uh, and I guess a lot of wood. So this is very, very good for like just PV peers. You have a refinery, you have a lot of boxes, you have two bedrooms, you have a bunker. So this is already good. You have a third floor access right here. Uh, if you're super lazy, you can just add like uh, roofs here. Just a quick uh, rule of thumb. If it's triangle floor, you just add a roof triangle and it all connects just like that. So you can do that and then boom, you're done. If you don't want to farm anymore. Or you can add a more honeycombing just like this and then start making external cupboards. So from here, just look for the side that has two triangles like this. Go three square foundations out, place a quick uh, placeholder and come all the way back until you have this two square space between uh, the triangles here and the triangles there. And then from here, you just go out one, two. I can't build in this area. So I'm gonna show you on the other side, okay? One, two, three, boom. Like that. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. If you want this part to be your gatehouse, you can actually go one more. You just need four squares between the external cupboard and your gatehouse. But I like to save on stone. So I'm actually not going to do that. I'm actually going to make mine like this. Like that. That's my gatehouse because I don't want to farm. I make bases every single day. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, triangle, 
two half walls, one full one, and then you need to have window here. And obviously, when you're starting out, you're not gonna have BPs uh, to put on this window, so just add a door, and you should be good. And then from here, you just add one wall frame, and add floor fl floor frames all around. Get rid of all the foundations. Boom, you're good. If you want to disconnect it, add a foundation here, put a roof, and then now you can uh, replace your cupboard in the main. That's it. So how are we going to make this into white peaks? Just add the honeycombing. Go outside. Add honeycomb. So this right here, you can you can be kind of frisky with it. If you want outer compound bedrooms, what you can do is you can add a bedroom right here so that you have access to your compound immediately. So most people won't expect you to come outside of your base from the side. Most people expect you to come out from the front. So sometimes I like to spice things up by adding a bedroom here. So if someone is uh, breaching my compound, I can just peek this, kill them, and go around, right? But you don't have to do that uh, if you don't want to. You just add uh, all the honey coming around just like this. Cover the top. The general rule of thumb when it comes to rust bases is that you want to separate your uh, peaks from your first and second floor. So the bare minimum that you have to do is a third floor or the fourth floor, I guess. Uh, you can have something like this. So you can have your peaks on the third floor, but as you can see, this is not a lot of uh, room to work with. So if you really would like to save on resources, you can do... Oh shit, I did this wrong. Okay, anyways, this is one more to the right, so it should be like this. So just pretend this doesn't exist. And then we'll just show you what the peaks look like. So you can you can do this. If you're super lazy, you can do this, but I think, I think it's really bad because if they start rocketing you, like right there, not, they not only get your peaks, but they also get your second floor. That's why you separate it and put it uh, third. And it's also nice. Um, the amount of distance that you gain. Because this is pretty high up. And then when you're down here, it's a lot harder to shoot uh, higher up on the fourth floor rather than the third floor. And it's also nice because you get to have uh, more bedrooms on the third floor and also more storage space. What I like to do uh, when I build bases is I'm going to get offline. So I don't put all of my loot in the core. I put maybe 50% of my loot in the core and then 50% uh, of my loot spread out everywhere. So like three gear sets in every loot room, maybe uh, like half my sulfur is here, like half my metal is here, something like that to really space it out. So even if I do get raided, I'm not raided fully. So I can keep playing uh, on the server if I really want it. Uh, you can do this however much you want. You can make this a roleplay palace or whatever. Or you can do it like me and just add uh, loot rooms. Just like that. And then this will be your way up. Same as the other ones. And then boom, your third floor is done. Uh, from here, you can add also additional wall frames like this, just to add, add the stability. Because you also need these right here. You need this. So from here, you're gonna start building out uh, the peaks. You also can do without, but Obviously, you don't want to get rocketed here and then everything's gone. So I think it's nice to have uh, four different places for the peak downs. Like that. All right. From here, you just add this. I like to put 
a square here this is kind of going back to my first Asian base where i had bedrooms on all four uh, corners so this kind of brings that back you can uh you can place it wherever you want but i think uh placing the door facing uh whichever side doesn't have the tc is is the best i'll show you why Because right here, you're probably going to make uh, something like this. Put a wall frame here. Floor underneath. Ramps. Boom. And then it stays. And the reason why we place it uh, facing this way is... Because if you place it this way and then add thing here, now you're only uh, subject to only two wall spaces to like peek down from this whole big area. So I think I like having this open so that you have so many different angles that you can peek from. As opposed to right here, it's gonna be small anyways. So you might have, you might as well have uh, a door like leading this way, you know? Or like uh, a door leading this way. Like that. Because right here you're going to have uh a different kind of peak this is also i saw it on game lights as well so this is basically game lights design because i'm using all of his tricks but you just add a square floor half wall and then a low wall and then the low wall sticks to the base and you get rid of everything else and this is like a very cheap way to make peak downs that you can't uh, really fall off of and this is uh i don't want to add four external covers to this so on uh, both of the sides here i just do this little peak and it's very cheap it works uh you're not you don't need a you don't need the best kind of peak but this will just give you give you like 360 coverage and then you can just do this for honeycombing you can't add the floor there but that's fine and then you do this if you are a roof camper uh you might think about adding windows here. I don't roof camp. So I don't need windows. You actually don't need windows in your base. But even if you're taking heli, you just go to the roof and take it. So unless you're looking to roof camp, you don't need to. Because a wall in a base defense will actually protect you from if someone is made, making a rape base there. A wall is better here so that the M249 in the rape base can't shoot you and you can shoot down at people actually breaching your base. So. I honestly think windows are overrated in Rust. Unless you're in a big Zerg and you, you need windows. For people like me, you don't really need. So you can either put the doorway here or towards the... Towards the uh, peak downs. I think towards the peak down is better. Because you can add another door here. And now your base is segmented into four different spots. So if you want to access this area. You have to go through this door. And... You have two bedrooms on each side. And from the bedrooms itself, you can actually like peek. So if you spawn in and someone's raiding it from this angle, it's it's actually a really good peek from here. And uh, this one will remain open. I was playing with Etone and I wanted to cover this up like that. And he made the good point of like the whole reason for the white peaks is that so that you can have a lot of different angles to shoot down. So having it open is, is a lot better. So you just finish that all the way around, boom, and then you do the you do the cheap build here. I like to make my bases relatively cheap, the cheapest it can be, without sacrificing too much space. Without sacrificing, without having to need like 600 high quality metal to uh, make the base strong. Like so many bases that I see on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome to my 24 uh, rocket solo base, guys. Um, yeah, so you're gonna you're going to need like six different blueprints, like five turrets, 
and 600 high qual for this to work but it's it's okay guys it's a great design for me i don't have i don't have blueprints so i want to make things with just stone and no blueprints even if you don't have garage doors it's this should work so you just add this for stability you could also put like walls here and like doorways but that's up to you and then from here uh this can be our way up and then you just cover it up i like to have two doors on the window floor so like that and then maybe this can be like another loot room or a bedroom like that all right and then let's just add all the floors into the base Like I said, dude, this is not a fully fledged tutorial. I'm just uh, showing this for people that watch me that want to build the same base that I do. So I see a lot of people on YouTube. Hey, man, uh, this isn't like well edited or you didn't explain this part. It's because it's not. I'm just showing you how I build it on a regular wipe. If you want to build it, you can follow it. It's not going to be uh, up to the standards of like a YouTube base building YouTubers standards, but it's all good. So on the square ones, you put, uh, you put the square roofs on the triangles. You put the triangle roofs. That's how you connect them all. And what I like to do on this part that has two triangle, uh, two square floors here, as you could just put a roof right here and that's good. But because we're going to have this area for a shop, and a mini copter. We're actually going to make three roofs and allow us to have this space for us to land our mini copter so that we can actually enter our garage. So I actually have a version of this that is uh, 55k stone, but I just figured stone is easy to get. This one is probably going to be like with everything made like 90k stone probably but if i want to make it even smaller i'll just get rid of like these so you can get rid of these uh honeycombing and just have two walls to the base which is very dangerous but there really is no way for you to have white peaks a bunker uh a lot of bedrooms a lot of space stuff for like shops stuff for uh mini copter you can't have all that with like 20k stone dude like it's just not possible Trust me, I don't want to I don't want to farm either, but in order for you to have all this, you kind of need to have some kind of stone investment. So I just like to put uh, four doorways here because if you're insanely rich, uh, you should be able to afford two shops and sell stuff. And I, I kind of figure that one shop is not enough if you have a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, and this one is for garage doors so that you can actually fit your mini copter in here But having garage doors as a peak, let's say someone like flew to your base You don't want to open a garage door and wait like five seconds for the for you to peek them So having this door on the side lets you uh, allows you to peek much faster You can also make this a window so you can kind of see but not required So once this is done and let's say uh, this one goes all the way out like this and then you had the you had the whole like you know this part window and maybe like an armored door or a garage door boom you can make this metal as well you can make this part metal and then add honeycomb in here and if you add uh a window and like a garage door here that's like seven rockets so that's pretty good you can also add this thing connect it and make this metal as well that's seven rockets and then you're pretty much done that's the whole base and obviously you want to upgrade things 
So what I would uh, recommend upgrading, I'll leave this part open so I can actually upgrade this later. Is this to high claw? This part. Honestly, if you have enough, dude, you just you just high claw this whole thing. With your non-existent high claw because you don't farm. But if you do have enough, you want to high call everything. That's a lot of high call though. This is going into YouTube based territory. Boom. Now you have a high call bunker. So from here, you also want to upgrade uh, this part, all metal. Maybe even this part to high call. Because that's your, that's your weak point. You just do that. And then leave this stone to bait people into raiding that because that doesn't really matter. Uh, you can make this metal. Make this part metal. Uh, you can make this part metal. Maybe, maybe this part metal so that you can actually like access the top. But other than this... Other than this, I wouldn't really upgrade anything. Obviously, you want to upgrade the parts that go to your core like this before adding this honeycomb. So that you can actually upgrade it. So on the other side as well. Like that. Other than that, I wouldn't really upgrade anything. If you're really anal about uh, getting your window peaks to be strong, you can metal this part. You can metal like all of this as well. I usually don't. But yeah, you can just end here. And I will call this base the Trousy base. This base is called the Trousy base. If someone in the YouTube comments is like, this base is so shit, dude. What? I can raid this with 2C4? Yeah, that's because it's the Trousy base.